Hello. On this morning, I guess the the news that everybody is talking about is politics in Canada. What's going on in Toronto? What's going on in Ottawa? I was not very looking to cover this in my midweek messages because I'm not an expert about law or you know and I follow politics like the next guy but I would not say that I have special credential to analyze this but my reflection is the aftermath of all of this and the effect that it has on all of us we seem to have someone in Toronto that seem to have some sort of addiction problem or I don't know if it's really addiction or not but someone seems to abuse a substance and that is a serious problem and some call it a disease that instead of blaming that need people need help we have in the Senate people who seem to have once again I'm not an expert from what I'm understanding asking for illegal contribution or illegal reimbursement of certain fees that they were not allowed to be reimbursed but it's after that what's going on as we as citizens look at this and we can say okay someone make a mistake but it's the systematic lying that has a big effect on us being lied over and over and over again not because someone was not informed but all of this for what political gain to hang on to your job to your little power you have that is a little more disturbing I don't think it's necessarily fair to I some to 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 ask some people to to hold higher standards I'm just want to consider myself holding people to the same standards that I'm holding myself that I'm telling my son not to lie to acknowledge the fault that you're doing to take responsibility for what we're doing and that's what disturb us because what leaves us is what more cynicism more criticism more lawsuits more problem in our society it's a reflection that i think we need to have collectively what kind of leader do we want and what are we going to do to have those leaders it would be easy to say people said oh if you ask almost no one will say they will vote for that person in power and when something goes bad but first of all people don't go to vote there's a problem there number 2 uh, we need to acknowledge what we are the people we put in power not it's easy to put them in power and then when something bad happens said oh i'm not responsible for that no we live in the democracy we're the one that give them this kind of power i'm not calling to a revolution or something like that it's just that we also need to look at ourselves in the mirror and also do the part we're asking some politician and public figure to do acknowledge our problem acknowledge our fault we don't go to vote it takes 15 minutes every 4 years and we don't do it we when something bad happen we don't take responsibility over our act we don't acknowledge we have a problem collectively socially so i guess we could lead by the example if we do our part and we can hope that others will do their part if collectively we do 
what we ask our politician to do, we could see change. And that's maybe the difficult part in all of this. It's so easy to say that's his fault, her fault. What about our fault? What about our responsibility in all of this? And that's maybe what I would like to in invite you this week. When you're confronted to a situation, stop pointing the finger at everybody else and maybe looking at self and say, okay, um, I contribute to this situation. What is my part in this? What kind of ownership can I take in this, even if I don't like it? And then what can I do? What can I do? What can I bring? as the M says. I hope the week will be better for now on for all of us. I hope that we will find some good news and I hope all those events will teach us something about ourselves, about our society, about what kind of world we want to live in. Take care and talk to you soon.